This video is to describe the new AC panel configuration changes on Fireboat 1.5. As you can see, the electrical panel is still similar to what it was before. It still has Shore Power 1, Shore Power 2, Bus A, Bus B, all the various circuits, the generator, this big selector switch to choose which inlet is used outside. The forward one is shore one and the rear one is shore two. Has a battery monitor, an ammeter, and voltmeter. This is the new shore power selector switch. It has three positions, shore one, off, and shore two. Only one cord is utilized in this new system. Just slightly to the left of the shore power selector switch is the Blue Sea Systems charging remote monitor. This is a remote battery charging display for the P12 battery charger located in the engine room. Just to the left of that is an ammeter and voltmeter for both bus A and bus B. Number one is bus A, number two is bus B using the selector switch at the bottom. Here's a little tour of the inner workings of the electrical system in the boat. The white wires are the neutrals, the green wires are the grounds. This is the back of the Blue Sea AC panel. Everything traces back and up to the inlets. These are the new wires that were put in over the last week. They feed down to the new three-way selector switch on the bottom right corner of the front of the panel. This is one of two isolation transformers that filter out all of the ground faults that could happen between the hull and the boat. Nothing has changed from switching the house power over to generator. You still shut off shore power one, shore power two, slide the slide up to reveal the generator button, and then the parallel AB slide up so you can press that button. Once you start the generator, which will be handled in another video, you turn the generator switch on and all of a sudden the entire panel is locked onto the generator. This is a brief overview of how the new electrical system works. Each of the two smart plugs, whichever one you're utilizing, has two lines and a neutral. Those two lines and a neutral are fed to a switch where those individual legs are fed into isolation transformers. We're now utilizing a one cord system. It does not matter which inlet you are plugged into. It is also powered by a double pole 50 amp breaker located in the power pole at the dock. It is imperative that that is shut off first before disconnecting the cable. This is an overview of the electrical panel and the electrical system modifications to Fireboat 1.5. Thank you.